flat dark sea broke open and the mermaid rose up and out of the water, her hair flying like a nest of cables and her arms flung backwards in the jump, her body glistening with scales and her tail flailing, huge and muscular, like that of a sea creature from the deepest part of the ocean. She beat up and out, arcing through the air, so she flipped on her back. The men saw her head and her breasts and her belly and a pubic bone of a woman where it met the tail of a glistening fish. Jesus Christ, exclaimed Thomas Clayson. Nysa crossed himself and the black conch men, they gasped. Cut the line, shouted Nysa Country, cut the goddamn line. And all five men were horrified as she hit the water, thrashing. Her mouth was bloody and she'd only just started to fight. On the end of Hank Clayton's rod was a wild creature, furious to be so caught. Nysa knew they'd hooked something they shouldn't have. He jumped down from the flight bridge with a knife. The mermaid, or whatever it was, deserved to stay in the sea. This wasn't his business at all. The thing looked too big for the boat. If anything, it could even take the boat down. Don't do that, shouted Thomas Clayson, as Nysa bent to cut the line. Do not do that! She's worth millions! Millions! We are bringing her in, goddammit, we are bringing her in. And she was on the surface now, thrashing like a mako shark, fighting the line with her arms, coughing up blood and spitting and screaming in a high wailing song. Oh God, stammered Hank. Did you see that? His hands were shaking with the rod. The father wanted to take it from him. The black conch men, Nicholas and Shortland, they backed away from the stern. Like nicer, they knew this was wrong. They were afraid they'd catch jumbie, a jumpy fish bad. They didn't want to help. They were lost for words for what to do. The white men wanted to pull this creature out of the sea, but this fish was half woman, plain enough. Everyone had heard of the mermen in black conch waters, but a mer woman? Nah. She carried with her bad luck at best, and her hair frightened them. Like she could kill just with one lash from those tentacles. She could poison them all. They'd all seen spikes on her back, dorsal spikes, scorpion fish spikes. They had seen a bloody raging woman on the end of a fishing line, and now these white men wanted to bring her in? Now, nah, boy, they all said. Thanks very much. Mm-hmm.